It's Costco time! Hello, my friends. It is time to go back to my favorite store on the planet Earth, and that's Costco. I feel like since I've been home now, I work for myself full time at home, I am cooking a lot more, which I'm really proud of myself for. I'm really using what's in my freezer. I just did a freezing, freezer inventory check. I've got enough chicken and beef to last me for two weeks because I feel like I need to start going to Costco every two weeks um, instead of once a month, but we'll see. It all depends on the flyer, really. Um, we only have like a couple of days left for this flyer because I did go to Costco um, in mid-April when this flyer came out. And this is just my second time getting ready to go back because there are a few things in here that I wanted to get before the flyer runs out, before the new one comes. I have not received the new one yet in the mail, but when I do receive the new one, girl, if it's good, you know I'll be right there. <laughs> so um, I just made my list and I think when I, when I get home from this Costco haul as well, I'm going to make myself a freezer inventory checklist and I'm gonna laminate it, it's gonna be cute. Okay, I'm feeling very Erin Condren-esque right now since the new Erin Condren planners uh, launched. And so that's just something I feel motivated to do. So that's what I'm gonna do when I get home. My list is pretty basic. Let's go ahead and take a look. These are on sale. The Frito-Lay Variety Pack, little mini chips. Baby Bell cheese are on sale. I'm gonna get that. The kids need some more maple syrup. Of course, I need butter, cause hello, keto. Bacon, applesauce for the kids, hot dogs, hot dog buns, coffee, and barbecue sauce. That is on my list. I don't need any vegetables. I still have green beans left. I have my frozen cauliflower left. I have bro frozen broccoli, so I'm good to go there. Um, I will look at the frozen asparagus because I do like that sometimes, but the summer, it's starting to get warm here. We're using the grill quite a bit, so that's why I'm getting hot dogs. The chicken I put on the grill, hot dogs, burgers. I can just grill up a bunch of stuff and then we can eat off of it for like three or four days. Everybody can have something different. So Also, my Costco membership ran out and I it is time for us to use our reward. And this is why I love, this is how I get a free Costco membership, is because my rewards amount is exactly $122.42, girl, and the cost to renew for the executive membership is $120, so boom, there you go, free of charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and renew that and get shopping. Look at this little convection oven, isn't it cute? It's only $42.99, $12 off. Of course, the Spa Finder, that's nice. Two $50 gift cards for $10 off, $69.99. Ooh, look at the Macaroni Girl gift cards. Two $50 gift cards, $5 off, $69.99. That's nice. Keurig Elite, that's nice. It's $25 off, $99.99. Um, hmm. Goes from four to 12 ounces. So it's nice. Where's the, oh, the water goes on this side. This looks just like our faucet that we have that's touchless. Yeah, except ours is on the side here, the water. Anyway, it's $50 off, $199.99. Ooh, the Sonicare Elite. These are nice. Um, I love our Sonicare toothbrushes, but does it come with, the, it doesn't come with the UV um, sterilizer though with it. Anyway, it's forty dollars off. It's one hundred nine ninety nine. I heard these are a time saver for birthday parties. They're just fun in the summertime. Nineteen ninety nine. I remember at the end of the season though, they were cheap. They were like nine ninety nine for these. So now I feel foolish paying nineteen ninety nine for them. But um, I don't plan on having a party like that though. Wow! Look at this dustbuster for your car. That's nice. I love my little Black and Decker mini hand vac. I use it all over the house. I mean, I, does it have to stay in your car or can you use it in your house? Anyway, it's $59.99. But this would be perfect to keep in your car though. I feel like this would be worth an investment um, just to quickly vacuum your car whenever you need it, especially if you have kids, because my car stays a mess, girl. It stays a mess. It comes with all these accessories with it. And that's how it looks. So where do you keep it at in your car? I guess you keep it at, on your countertop in your house and you plug it in here. I don't know. I'm confused. Wow, Ziploc 
freezer bags are on sale. Oh, this is nice. It's a variety pack, so it comes with uh, a quart, the sandwich, a snack, and a gallon. I prim primarily just buy the gallon. Um, the snacks, I usually just get them from the Dollar Tree. I try not to buy, use them as much, but sometimes I just need a snack bag. But the gallon ones, I storage ones, I use for the freezer all the time. Um, anyway, they're eleven sixty nine, three dollars off. Now I hear so many things about the Downy Unstoppables. Like you could do so much with them to make your house smell good, and I bet it does. These do smell really good, but are they toxic? That's what I want to know. Some people even like melt these in wax warmers. They put them in their trash can. Of course, you put it in your dryer. Is it your dryer? No, your washing machine. Do not put in your liquid dispenser or dryer. Okay. And the washing machine. Okay, yeah. I, are they toxic? Leave a comment down below and let me know. What's your experience with these? You know, but I do like the way they smell. Let me see. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells like clean clothes. Anyway, they're $3 off. They're $11.49. But I do want something that I, you know, I use a natural laundry detergent, Ecos. I get it from here. Um, but the thing is, um, it doesn't really have a scent, but I do like when my clothes smell really, really good. So I think about trying the method little, I guess, methods version of Unstoppable to put into um, the wash, but then you have to keep rebuying it. I don't know. Leave any comments or suggestions down below. Mr. Clean, Magic Erasers, $6.99. They are $3 off. None of this was in the flyer, too, by the way. I'm just FYI. Sometimes you just have to come in to see the, steel, the deals. Some work for the summertime, $7.79 for these books. It's not bad. Usually they're like $9.99. I was thinking about getting... Some stuff. I don't have a lot of second grade stuff for Zara. I have plenty of stuff for Ava. She's going into kindergarten. But, um, Zara, I don't have that much stuff. But I'm not trying to buy a whole bunch of crazy stuff. I just decluttered my office in the learning room again. If you haven't seen that video, it's this out right here, girl. I really don't need to buy much. Dyson V8 Animal. This is the vacuum if you post cleaning videos on YouTube that everybody has. $80 off, $299.99. They have the Instant Pot 6 quart 9 in 1 multi-use pressure cooker, $109.99. I don't know, this one looks a little bit smaller than the one I have at home. Um, I don't know if that's a good price or not. Leave a comment down below and let everyone know if that's a good price. But it looks like it has the asterisk so it's not coming back. Definitely getting some pipe please. It's on sale for $5 off, $28.89, 29, oops, 29.89. So. Disney Tutu Couture, three piece set. Okay, girl, I see you. That's cute. Um, $19.99 for the jacket and the skirt. This is teapot, I guess this is like a bell theme. And then this one is a frozen theme also. It's a cute skirt. It's really big. And then Minnie Mouse. Let's see him. Minnie Mouse theme. It's different. Really different. These are really nice quality beach towels. They're really large, thick. 40 by 72. 9.99 each. My true OG subscribers know why I'm not even gonna go there with the pillows. You all know the struggle. The struggle is still there. I haven't talked about it in a few Costco hauls, but the struggle is still there. These 3M command hooks, the hanging hooks or the strips are $3 off. They're $10.99. It's a lot of strips. The Velcro strips are, are um, handy. They're really, really handy actually. Um, I don't know if I need that many though. These three hooks here. I do need a hook, something similar, something like this for the kids' room, for all their purses and stuff. Or I mean, this would be helpful, just getting these, even though these look better. But it would just go on their closet door. These backpack beach towels are really cute. So it looks like this. Um, they're $13.99 though. I don't know if I would pay for that. Better to just get the ones that I just showed you for $9.99. You know, they're about the same size. Oh, these are, yeah, no, actually these are kind of smaller, so. This is really nice, Louisiana grill. I don't need a grill at all. I don't even know why I'm over here looking at it. But it's interesting.
I want to come over here. Well, these are really nice. Um, I wonder if they lay back. Do they lay back? I don't know. Let's see. I love that you can add your water. Oops. And it's like a full seat instead of a little short seat. I want to see if it lays back or not. Hmm. See, it says seat back. They're $42.99 though, which is kind of high, but let me see. No, that's the farther, furthest it goes. Um, but it's nice. Let's see. It's great for the beach. I just wish it would sit back just a little bit. Oh wait, oh wait a minute. Figured it out. Oh yeah, I'm getting this. So in order to lift the seat up, you go like this. See? And then you lift the, um, what's this called? Arm. The arms up and you go back. What? Wouldn't this be nice for me? But we're going to the beach this summer, so I, you know, it's kind of pricey though. But you can have your phone here and a little water cup holder. I like it. What do you think, baby? Do you think that's too high or? Oh, where's the cup holder? Right on this side. It's like a little bit water bottle holder. Uh oh. Instead of, you know, those chairs that we have that are low to the ground? This would, you know, be a little bit better. It'd be like a full size chair. Something to think about. Maybe the price will come down. We're going back to the beach in July, so we'll see. We have this car and it did not, to me it's not with $54.99. Like, I don't know, it just, to me, it, it's a better use of your money if you just go ahead and buy this folding wagon, even to use at the beach. Um, Cause you could use this for so many things and it fits so many things in it. We have one of these at home. But this beach cart is just like, eh, neither here nor there. We used it, but I prefer, like I said, the wagon. Here's the chair that we have. I think we have just one of these, though. Um, and they see how low to the ground they are. They're $32.99, but for $10 more, you can get a full-size chair. This one lays all the way back like this, which is nice, and it has the straps. So maybe since we have one of these, Oh, this one has a cooler? I wonder if ours does. It's the same brand, Tommy Bahama, but I don't know. Um, maybe we'll get one of the bigger chairs as well this time. Simple and easy keto, hello. I don't really have much in the clothes section this week. Look at these pool pets, how cute is this? It throws, I guess it floats, right? Use in or out of the pool, UV and mildew resistant. $29.99, I guess they can like lay on top of it, sit on top of it. I don't know if that would hold my girls though. Um, of course we'd have to be in the pool with them, but I think it's cute. I like um, the penguin, it's really cute. Oh, they have more, smaller ones. Oh, pool noodles for $14.99. Oh, that's so cute. Really, really cute. My kids are so rough. We have one big fat pool noodle that I like to use in the pool with them. But it's like all tore up. But this is a really, really cute um, idea. It's $14.99. My girls, well, Zara, um, I need to get her a new vest to this size vest. Cause she still, like when we were in Mexico, she wore this size vest fine. I mean, my girls do know how to swim, but um, they get tired, especially when they're in the pool in the pool all day and they're too they're not tall enough to stand up. They get tired, so I put their vest on so they could still be in the pool, you know. But it is time for Zara to get upgraded to this size. And I want to get her some goggles with the nose. I'm not gonna spend this up pin 40 bucks on it. Um, because we don't need oh it has a camera on it? Oh no, GoPro ready camera mount. Um, we're not doing any snorkeling as of yet, you know, but I do want to get her some goggles with the nose with that. These five foot balls are cute. These at the beach, $19.99. And then this little pool is cute. Eight feet by 26 inches is $34.99. This is the pool noodle that we have at home that the girls kind of tore up. They like ripped into this little piece. <laughs> It, like this part of it is ripped a little bit, but we still use it. But these are really good um, quality uh, pool noodle. I think it's $19.99. Yeah, and the boogie board is $29.99. Yeah, of course we have a lot. We have these from last year. I bought them too last year, so I'm not gonna get any more beach toys. They're $12.99. 
it's just hard um, the one thing that I don't like about these beach toys is like you get so much that all of these ones that are on top they do not fit in the bucket so you kind of like have to carry them one off you know what I mean <laughs> which kind of sucks because you have to just remember to put them all in there like this wow look at this mega slide like a slip and slide wow pretty long six feet uh, $99.99 though, girl. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth all that though. Here's the Frito Lay. The 30 count is $9.59, and then the 54 count is $13.99. Trying to see what the cost of it, cost per unit is, because I don't. My kids like they don't eat the sour cream. Well, this is the 54 pack. If they don't eat the sour cream, um. Those Fritos are my favorite, girl. It's a weakness, but I just need to sit, focus over here because I think they eat all of these. And it's just a better price right now, so this is what I'm gonna get. So I just looked at the footage because I can't see up there. <laughs> I just put my camera up there, and this is actually a better price. But my kids are not gonna eat the sour cream and onion, um, but they will eat everything else. So you think I should just get this, or should I get this? Now the bags are bigger, right? Um, see the bags on here are one ounce each. The bags on here are two ounce each. So I'm just gonna get this one because instead of paying $14, it's gonna pay 10. Have any of you tried this PB powder, PB Fit powder? It has two net carbs in it and two tablespoons. So I bet it gives you that peanut butter taste because that almond butter, y'all, I just don't know. I just can't get down with the get down. It didn't taste good in my smoothie, but I don't want to buy a big thing like this, though, if I don't like it. It's $11.99. Of course, they have the MCT oil here. Um, $22.99. I like this MCT oil to add to my coffee, for my bulletproof coffee. And the maple syrup is still down to $10.79. I told you it was like $11.99 before. So, definitely going to get some of that. What is this? I love the Garden of Life brand. I remember I used to take their prenatal vitamins. They're all natural, organic MCT powder. Hmm, it has your prebiotics in there. Six grams of MCTs. Well, what are MCTs? I mean, medium chain triglyceride oil, like MCT oil, but let's see what this is here. Okay, so it says organic coconut medium chain triglycerides rides. That's MCT oil. Acai prebiotic fiber. I guess that's the probiotic. So it has six grams of fat, three grams of carbs, three grams of dietary fiber, so zero net carbs. Huh. Add to food or beverage. Refrigerate after, well what's the taste though? Huh, it's just I guess a powder form of MCT oil? Yeah, but what does it taste, is it like vanilla or? Have any of you guys tried this? Leave a comment down below and let me know. It's $24.49, let me know if you guys have tried this because I would be interested to see how it tastes. I feel like the Hawaiian rolls are going back up in price. $5.49, they used to be $4.99. Um, I know for a fact, but when I got the Hawaiian rolls here last time, I think it's been like two or three weeks since the last time I was here, um, they molded on me before my girls can eat them and they literally eat these every single day. They have one every single day. So, I don't know. I feel like they're fresher when I go to cost to uh, Publix to get them, which is our local grocery store. And I know these are previously frozen, but I'm gonna try to look at the ones with the latest date. Like this one's 511, this one's 516. Let's see. I don't know. Have you guys ever tried to freeze Hawaiian rolls? Maybe I should freeze the second pack. I don't know. Leave a comment down below and let me know. So I'm gonna get some hot dog buns. I'm going to freeze these. Listen, it's the summer of hot dog, girl. My kids, they try to eat you out of house and home when they're home for the summer. They only have like, I think, eight or nine days left of school. So I'm stocking up on hot dogs. Um, I will freeze these. <coughs> Excuse me. I will freeze these, though. But I'm trying to think, should I get this one or is this the Costco brand? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Six foot long hot dog buns. So you can make like a sandwich out of these. Man. Mmm. Sounds delicious. So these hemp hearts, I forgot to show the price in the last Costco haul and you guys asked, they are $13.99. I love these, these are so good. I add them to my cauliflower rice, I add them to my um, 
my smoothies every day and I love them. Someone else mentioned that I should try to do um, keto oatmeal and you can add them to some um, coconut milk, unsweetened coconut milk, add these and some chia seeds and sweetener and some um, almond butter in there and then you have like a flavored kind of like a cereal keto cereal and you can add them on salads i really like these i highly recommend them if you're keto and they have a good amount of fat 15 grams and three tablespoons and it has an incredible amount of iron and magnesium so definitely healthy we are all out of barbecue sauce and you know my family is a barbecue sauce loving family i know it's not keto friendly but girl when we put grilled chicken on the grill I always add a little barbecue sauce to it. This is really good. I remember I got this a couple of times. Um, it has really low carbs, two grams of carbs in it and one tablespoon for a salad dressing or a marinade, $6.99. So they have another kind of MCT oil over here, Prasada Organic Coconut MCT Oil, $13.99, 32 ounces. I wonder if it'd be cheaper to just buy this or you get the two in the container that I showed you up there. I love that Costco's carrying more stuff like this though. It's really good. Oh, and I do need some more. I'm getting low. I think I have enough to get us through until I come back in a couple of weeks. But next time I come back, I'm definitely gonna get some more. I put this all over our bodies after we get out of the bath, my girls, or the shower, or whatever, the time moisturize our skin. Look at this pancake mix. Non-GMO, no added sugar, gluten-free, grain-free. It's paleo. Wow, it has 11 net carbs and two to three pancakes. Hmm, has anybody tried it? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Definitely need some Kerrygold. These are keto staples, keto Costco staples. Kerrygold butter and the heavy whipping cream because it's the cheapest that you'll find it. This is $4.19 for Land Lakes. This is $10.99 for four um eight ounce bars a keto must this apple wood smoked bacon it's expensive as heck girl but let me tell you something worth every slice now for the hot dogs i like to get nathan's and you can freeze these too that's probably what i'll do this costco changing things up where are the regular Goosby sausage patties they're usually right here now i can't find them these are the asparagus that i that i like um saute them with some Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, garlic, and olive oil, and bacon. Delicious. Oh no, y'all. So I wanted to get some guacamole. Okay, the little cups. But in Good Foods brand, because I know that guacamole tastes delicious. It is so good. But I don't want to get a big tub like this because I just, it's, I don't know. I just, that's a lot for me to try to eat. My husband doesn't eat guacamole like that. My kids don't eat it. I like the little cups. But now, it's the Kirkland brand. And I'm like, but well, wait a minute. What happened to the to the Good Foods brand? Uh, and I don't, there's a lot more in there now. This is used by June 6th. Like, that really just turned me off. I think you got 12 in the last one and it was like $12, if I, if I remember correctly. But now these are like, you get 16 and they're $16. I don't know if I want to spend that much. I mean, these are a great keto snack though, even just to eat by itself, you know? You can put it on your keto bagel or your keto biscuit. There's two net carbs in one um, little cup. And each cup is um, like two ounces, I think. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave these here though for now. Seafood Retro is here, maybe I should get some shrimp. If anybody knows what the heck happened to the oh is this it kirkland apple juice not yes praise god because i hate the moths i just don't like it it's just apple like apple juice concentrate but the kirkland brand of apple juice is fresh pressed at least it used to be in the old container let me see anytime uh, somebody changes the container it makes me feel like something's different with it let me see it used to be fresh pressed is it not fresh pressed anymore this is the laundry detergent that I use, Ecos, I love it. It's just a lot cleaner and it doesn't have formaldehyde or any of that nasty stuff in it. It doesn't really have a scent though. It's a very light scent, so, which is a good thing. 
but sometimes I just want my clothes to smell like, oh my gosh, brush, you know, freshly washed clothes. It's $12.99. So what can I do that's natural? I mean, I do use, oh, vinegar. Do we need, I don't think we need any more vinegar, but I do use vinegar in my, um, in the softener. That's what it's called. <laughs> I put vinegar in there and it takes out any scent. So it doesn't have any scent at all, but you know, I want something like springy. I think it's because the springtime is here and I want to smell like spring, you know, and I don't really use fabric softeners. Like I said, I use a vinegar for that, so. Oh, this goat cheese looks so good. It's a big goat cheese. Makes me want to have like a wine and cheese party. I wish you guys can all come over and we have like a big wine and cheese party. Like this, perfect, right? That would be so fun. Let me tell you something. I got myself some Gruyere cheese that was so good. Was it here? It might have been Aldi. It was so good. This would be so good in a mac and cheese. This is cute. Chicken street tacos, a 12 count. That would be perfect for like a little party that you have. It's something. This is something quick and easy to just lay out, you know? I love this place. Set. I would love to put this in our backyard one day. It's $9.99.99. That's actually a pretty good price for this size. I would think something like this could be easily be two grand, fifteen hundred at the most. You know, it's really pretty. This tub door. It's really nice. Man, Costco sells the most random things sometimes. <laughs> it's $2.99.99. Not too bad of a crowd today. I will take these lines any day. Wow, look at that. You can order and pay for your food right here and then just take your ticket up there. Costco comes out with more and more smart things. All right, we're back home. Let me show you what we got. So, I got the hot dogs. Told you guys I was gonna freeze half of this pack. Some butter. The heavy whipping cream. The cheese slices, cheddar cheese slices, some organic string cheese, some baby bell cheese, and some bacon. We have the Pike Place K-Cups, the apple juice, the Kirkland apple juice that I like. I did not like the mods at all. The classic mix, small bags of chips, some applesauce for my girls, some more animal crackers because the girls really ate them. My husband likes them too. Some barbecue um, sauce, Hawaiian rolls, the organic maple syrup for my girls, some bananas for Ava, because her and my husband are the only ones that eat them. The hot dog rolls, I'm, gonna, I'm going to freeze half of these. And some eggs. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we had to renew our membership, which was $120. So with that, the grand total was $291.07, and then I had my rewards of $122.42. And so the grand total was 172.05, which isn't bad. The most expensive thing that I got was um, the butter, which was 10.99. The Starbucks K, uh, K cups that was 29.99, and the applesauce was 12.99. I swear the applesauce just goes up and up and up. And then the bacon was 15.99. So I am happy with that, girl. I told you I lowered my Costco budget to $300, and I'm. A month and I've been consistently going under that I may even make it lower than that um, but when I do buy meats like chicken and ground beef or shrimp or something like that you know it does get up there but still I feel like I could stay around $250 a month if you're more interested in learning how we budget how we remain consumer debt free you can download my free zero based budget template in the description box and you'll learn how to budget girl and become consumer debt free because that is the way to go so now, I said in the beginning of the video that I wanted to make like a little freezer inventory thing. I had a whole bunch of energy at the top of that video, girl. My energy's a little low now, but I think I'm still gonna do it. So let me go ahead and finish that. Look at me coming through, getting the work in. So I just quickly made this, and now I know what is in my freezer at all times. And when I get ready to go to Costco, I will just pull this out and I will change it, you know, as we use it. I just made this really quickly in Canva and then I laminate it. And now I'm going to put it up on the side of my fridge. Hello, now we're getting somewhere. And this is all the stuff that I have in my deep freezer in our garage. It felt really good to get that done because I had been wanting to get that done for like weeks and then I just kept putting it off and putting it off. And I just made myself do it right now and I'm happy that I did that. So that is it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what did you get from Costco? Have you gone to Costco yet this month for the month of May? 
happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there watching this. I hope you enjoyed your Mother's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above, and you can also check out my previous video right over here, and all of my social media platforms, all is down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!